It hurts so bad. There's not really any way to verify this, but I do believe we're making the world's best breakfast enchiladas. Somewhere around six or seven years ago, I made a breakfast enchilada. I think we called them egg chiladas. <laughs> Clever, cute. Nobody saw the episode. I don't know. Maybe, maybe 3,000 people saw it, right? It was awful. In fact, uh, we'll play a little bit for you. Uh, I sucked. And I mean what I'm about to say in the nicest way possible. Max sucked. We both sucked. We were terrible. I wasn't as bad, but he was learning. God bless his heart. The kid didn't grow up in video, but now, I mean what I'm about to say. Our stuff looks as good, if not better, than any television video I've ever shot, ever. Period. Period. I can't do that. This collective work is amazing. But that particular video, should we just give him a little taste of it right this second? Add a half a cup of the diced Mexican uh, spring onions or regular green onions, whatever you like. And a quarter of a cup diced green chilies. So now just let everything start to warm and let the onions start to soften. And what you just saw, you have no idea what I was making. In our world, in a technical sense, that's called blown out. Blowing way the F out. It was awful. It's not what's happening today. Today is going to be not just great looking to watch, but amazing eating to consume. But we got to get going because we've got a lot of stuff to do. I mean, really not in this. We have a whole bunch of things to do after. And, you know, Max has got to get a haircut and Chance has got to go surfing. Apparently, I'm the only one that really cares about working here. Everybody's got an agenda. Let's start by getting um, some trezo happening, and that's going to be, oh, such an important part of this. Let's go. There's no pretty way to do this, but into our first pan, we'll go some Mexican trezo. And I say Mexican because there's Spanish trezo, which is already cooked, and clearly this is not. So it's not easy to break up at this point. You can see, look, it sticks. It's a pain in the ass, but it's okay. It's like you're dealing with sticky ground beef, which is fine. But the flavor that this will add is honestly unbelievable. So to cook this all the way through is probably, I don't know, five minutes or so. We're going to let it go about two and a half or three. Then we're going to add a couple other things. Uh-oh. I might have got it on your lens. Do you see any splatters? I apologize if I did. But. I don't think I did. Okay, good. And if the boys were talkative, I'm not sure they are today, they would tell you what they're smelling right now is rather incredible. So this is pork chorizo, and the spices that are in this, the cayenne, the chili powder, all that good stuff, really makes for one very delicious addition to these enchiladas, or egg chiladas. And after a couple minutes, as promised, you're maybe half-ish way there we're gonna add two more things some red pepper and some yellow onion dice we mix and we allow these to start to soften and cook along with the chorizo in the meantime let's beat some eggs so it's pretty simple and we break crack in crack in I don't have to say crack in every time. Oh my God. And look, see this little piece of shell? The easiest way to get a piece of shell is with another piece of shell. It kind of attracts itself. And then just continue on. I'm making six enchiladas. I think one egg per, given what else is going in, is right. A little salt and pepper, always, right? And we beat. Perfect. Okay, these guys are done. We're gonna wanna add them here. Now that this is cooked. I want to slow cook the eggs. If I add them to the pan right now, they're going to cook way too quickly. So I'm going to let this cool a bit. Then we'll combine the two. But in the meantime, we can start on what will be the green chili crema that will go on top of these enchiladas when they come out of the oven. So into our pan, a little shot of oil, big clove of garlic. And pretty much right away, we're going to add a can of diced green chilies. 
Oh, I smell that garlic. Oh, sorry, Max. I don't want to do anything bad to your camera lens. I may have already done that. And just as this starts to heat up, we'll give it about a minute or so, just to help really bring out the flavors of the chilies. We're gonna add the one thing that'll turn this into a beautiful crema or cream, and that's some heavy whipping cream. Lovely. Gets a little hit of salt and pepper, because everything does, a little mix. And over the next 10 or 15 minutes or so, this is gonna turn into the most glorious cream to go on top of these enchiladas. But now we can actually get the egg part going with the enchiladas. So we'll slide the cream over, bring back the pan with the chorizo and the onions and the peppers. We're gonna add a little butter to this because we don't want the eggs to stick once they go in. And when the butter's melted, we add the eggs. We wanna mix everything in we don't want them to be dry. So keep it moving, keep it on low heat at this point. Don't forget, they're going in the oven. But holy shit, if you could just cook this and just eat these the way they are, they would be insane. But we're not stopping there. We're going not for insaneness, in freaking sanity-ness. You can see they're just starting to cook. So keep it moving, keep it moving. Boys, do we think this is something that you could make, say, the night before? Yeah. No! Never. It's eggs. Okay. Certain egg things the night before, but this one? I mean, I guess you could. And could Look. you make the whole enchilada dish and then put it in the oven? That's what you used to do with enchiladas. I know, but I wouldn't like it. And as it starts to thicken, you can see, that's my test. You pull a spatula or spoon across. If it takes a second to fill in, you know it's thickening. But you don't need that. You can see what's happening. Low heat, low heat, low heat. That's the key. It's like Moses parting the Red Sea, right? We all know that story. And as they start to thicken, and you can see this happening, look. Oops, I made a mess up here. We're gonna add some of my favorite shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Mix this in. Okay, these eggs are about a minute and a half away from being perfect and crazy delicious, but a couple quick steps and we have enchilada breakfast excellence. And when they look like this, when the Red Sea parts and does not fill back in, let's take them off and build. And we look like this. Our receptacle for baking them, some chicken broth for softening our tortillas, and here's our eggs. So it goes like this. We take a tortilla, and I'm using a hybrid corn and wheat tortilla. It's actually a green chili corn, keeping with our theme. I like to put them in the broth to soften them and make them a little more pliable. So let's sit there for a minute. I'll add another one that will soften while I'm making this one. And before we do anything with them, in the bottom of our baking dish goes more heavy cream. Max, this is gonna help make this delicious sauce. So now that it's there, we take our first tortilla out, and then we put some of our egg mixture in the middle. A little bit more cheese. We roll it up. And then in it goes. Oops, we lost a little bit. And in it goes, seam side down, and we repeat. Out comes the soaking tortilla. In goes another one. This comes down. We put some of our egg mixture on it. Could I make a bigger mess? Seriously. Here, we add a little more cheese, and we roll. Beautiful, beautiful. Seam side down, and we just continue. The egg mixture goes in, a little more cheese, we roll. You got this, right? I don't need to keep saying all these steps. I think it's pretty basic. for it and there he is beautiful okay next more cheese I know what you're saying Sam there's a lot of cheese in here other enchiladas are supposed to be and they're gonna be freaking delicious last but not least a little drizzle of more heavy cream and they go into a 350 oven 
They're in the oven until they're bubbly, starting to brown, and absolutely gorgeous. And then the, 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 the green chili cream is for serving. And so good. Look, this is the period between Christmas and New Year's. And there may be extra family around, uh, well, in the days of COVID, who knows how much. But if it's just family, this is a perfect thing to make in the morning. You make it, you put it in the oven, everybody has some, you're relaxing, you're watching whatever. Hopefully, me, us, and you just chill, and it's great. One more thing to remember before um, they're ready and they come out. At the end of this episode, we're doing this. Ah! It hurts so bad. The Packy One Chip Challenge. If you don't know about it, I'll explain it when we get there. Max is scared. Are you scared? Yes. He's scared. Chance, are you scared? Terrified. We're all a little scared, honestly. It's supposed to be like the world's hottest chip ever. All right, they're cooking when they come up. When you see me next, we're finishing them and eating them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are our breakfast enchiladas. But wait, we're not done because they need this green chili crema. Look how beautifully it's thickened. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So let's put some on top, shall we? Max and Chance. And that will look like this. You want everybody getting a little bit of this stuff because that's the magic. And then of course, anything I make wouldn't be anything I make without just a little touch of green. In this case, cilantro. Or as my Canadian family members would say, cilantro. And if I'm not crazy, I think we should be eating one. All right, well now we just have to separate this guy. Oh boy. Just like this. Out he comes, and right on there is right. Huh? 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 And then if you want, just a little bit more of this cream from the pan over the top. Because how could that ever be a bad thing? Oh wait, it couldn't. Now we eat. Sorry, now I eat. Let's just make ourselves a beautiful bite. You know what I like? I like that everything that's inside is sort of soft. And yet, you've got these crispy outside pieces. But I'm going to make a bite right here in the middle. Mmm. I'll say this is beautiful. You get the smell of the chili right off the bat. One more. Mm. How do you taste anything with all your taste buds burnt off? My taste buds have all grown back. I can handle a lot of heat in my mouth. Whether I can handle this kind of heat in my mouth, you'll have to wait uh, one minute or something. Oh, crap. Uh, the key to this is not to dry out the eggs because they are honestly, they are perfect inside of here. Everything is working in the right direction for this. The richness, the creaminess, the little spice from the chorizo. Mm. If I woke up any day of the week and had these, I'd be one happy camper. Look at that. Honestly, it didn't take very long to put together and takes even less time to eat. Mm. Everything. But don't go anywhere because this is coming up right now. Oh no, not just me. Not just me and Max. Me, Max, and Chance sitting right there in front of you. One chip challenge. I've got milk just in case and I don't even like milk. So this is it. Uh, we've all wondered. We've got milk, as you can see in Max's hand. And each pack comes with just one chip that I can't f***ing open. It's supposed to be... Can you get this open? Yeah, I got it. I don't. Knife? I got it. Oh, you did. Uh, real peppers, real heat. Oh, there's instructions? How long can you last before throwing in the towel? How do you throw in the towel? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, do you eating eat the whole drinking. thing? Oh, eating, eating or drinking? Or drinking oh, okay. okay. So that's it. You eat or drink anything. So, so here's what here's what's inside. You open the pack. It's good. Yeah. You open the pack. This is inside. Oh, I think I just broke my chip. That's okay. How long can you last before throwing in the towel? And here it is. This is it. Eat the entire chip. 
Wait as long as you can before drinking or eating anything. Post your reactions. And you open this up, and inside is the chip. You Mine. Hold it up. Just put it right in, right. No, 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 no. Just what do you mean? Line with the lead. You're, Here. You're holding it too low. Is this guy coming down the side? Just go, go like this. Go five okay. minutes. So is this all right? No, I don't hear. I'm. I. This is. This is not. This is what's inside. Max suddenly is in a terrible mood. What? What's the? I got that. it now. It's good. Okay, so it's a black chip, which is pretty fucking ominous, I have to say. So this is all my chip. Nothing left inside. You have to eat it all. Let's go. I don't know any of us is lasting an hour. I'm not lasting fucking 10 seconds. You don't know that yet. I know that. I have my milk right there. We all have our milk right there. I don't I'm just, you guys are touching it with your hands. <laughs> You're going to rub it in your no, eyes. No, I'm not. I'm going to go wash. I forgot about that. We should be wearing gloves. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm going like this. You can eat the whole thing? Right. I'm I'm eat are you not? Yeah, you have to eat the whole thing. Yeah, in one bite? No, you just have to eat it. I'm gonna get it over mm -hmm. with. Me. All right, are we ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh, I'm afraid. Immediately. So spicy. We start a clock. <clears throat> oh my god, this sucks. I have I'm out, I'm out. <coughs> Back in the throat. Uh. Oh. oh I got a fing swung the boil on it. Oh. I haven't swallowed yet. I swallowed. Oh. Oh, my God. I want to wipe my eyes, but I can't. Don't uh, do don't cough. No milk for you yet? No. Oh. I'm afraid to touch my face. Don't. I hate this. <coughs> this is a terrible idea. Okay, I gotta go milk. You win. Ah! It hurts so bad. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's building. Oh my God. Uh, does the milk help? Oh, yes, but only temporarily. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh fuck. Ah. You did this. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck. Don't do this. Well, here's the deal. Oh my God. Here's the deal. By their standards, we're all light. We're featherweights. We couldn't go five minutes. Where'd Chance go? I'm all right now. You are? How? Put the milk in your mouth and switch it around. I think we gotta throw up. 
I can't do this. I don't know what to do. This is awful. Whose idea was this? This is the stupidest thing ever.